Okay, have you heard this? Mom, I need my lucky socks. Dad, where is my lucky bat? These are things parents hear from their kids, superstitious players. But it goes beyond just the kids, and some college and pro athletes may even be the most superstitious of all. Joining us now is Dr. Chris Stankovich, sports psychology expert, to talk about superstitions. Chris, good to have you here. Thank you. First of all, do they work? <laughs> <laughs> well, they work if you think they work. Uh, a lot like the placebo effect in medicine, if you believe in something enough, then oftentimes you establish in your mind a connection of cause effect that doing uh, this type of behavior or wearing the socks as you alluded to will have some kind of subsequent effect on your performance. So do they work? Uh, really, a, a belief plays a big part of it. Does it have anything to do with discipline and early discipline with children and young athletes? Well, one thing that it can do, having some superstitious behaviors, is help uh, a young person develop pre-game routines. Uh, if they do things a certain way, in my mind, that's taking advantage of their time and their surroundings and not letting the environment act on them, but instead they're being proactive and acting on the environment. So uh, when it's kept in check, it may be a good thing to have some kind of superstitious behaviors, but when it gets to be extreme, it might be a little bit obsessive compulsive. So let's say the lucky socks, bats, hats, t-shirts, mm -hmm. or something don't factor into a particular kid. How can you help that child prepare and even be motivated to try certain sports and to stick with it for at least a while? Well, you can start with the basics. Uh, you know, really encourage your child to understand that the time before a practice or a game is his or her time to kind of get their mind together. Maybe just have a short list of goals that they have set for the season to quickly review. But really, anything that you can person kind of center him or herself and get ready to play is going to be advantageous. When do you know that your child is too centered and too focused and all they want to do is play a particular sport? Well, that's a tough one to, to, to tell on the surface, but I think just watching behaviors and, and if you see a young person over-identify with, with sports to the point where he or she's excluding other activities or interests, those are always red flags. You might want to try to temper that a little bit and encourage him or her to find interests in other areas just as much as sport. Chris, thank you. Thank you. To learn more about Dr. Stankovic's work, all you have to do is go to our website, ohionewsnow.com, click on the sports section, and then from there, go to Sports Doc.